Lesson 5.4, solving radical equations and inequalities. Our essential question, how do you solve equations containing radicals and rational exponents? Standard 5.4, number three, solving an equation with an extraneous solution. Raising each side of the equation to the same exponent may introduce solutions that are not really solutions to the original equation. These are called extraneous solutions. When you use this procedure, you need to always check each apparent solution in the original equation. So you're gonna solve for x, and then you have to check your x values. Is it really an answer, or is it extraneous? So let's go ahead and take a close look at this one. I need to get inside this radical so I can start moving things around. I can't do that until the radical is gone. So I need to take the second power of both sides. So here's me taking the second power of both sides x plus 1 to the second power means that parentheses occurred twice, and I will have to do the distributive property. The square root and the second power cancel each other out, so this is 7x plus 15. Doing the distributive property, x times x is x squared, x times 1 is a 1x, one, 1 times x is a 1x, one, 1 times 1 is 1. So the left side, I have x squared plus 2x plus 1. This equals 7x plus 15. My job is to solve for x, so I need to first make the equation equal to 0. So we're going to move the 7x and move the 15. So I have x squared minus 5x minus 14 equaling 0. When I see I have a problem equals 0, I'm going to try and solve by factoring. So a times c, somebody better add up to b. a times c is a negative 14. My b is a negative 5. I know that I can do negative 7 times 2 to multiply together to get the negative 14. If I add these two together, I do get the negative 5 that I needed. So my two numbers are negative 7 and 2. Because a is 1, I am able to quick multiply like this. You said negative 7, so here's my minus 7. You said a positive 2, so here's my positive 2. Now that I have two factors, I need to solve for them. So x minus 7 is factor 1, x plus 2 is factor 2. Solving, I have x equals 7 as answer number 1, and I have x equals negative 2 as answer number 2. But we need to check, are these extraneous? And how do we check them? You literally get to type them into the equation. So we have x plus 1 equaling the square root of 7x plus 15 that we are going to use and check our answers. So replacing x with 7. That's 7 plus 1 equaling the square root of 7 times 1 plus 15. 7 plus 1 is 8 equaling the square root of 7 times 1 is 7. So 7 plus 15, that x is supposed to be 8, 7. So we have 49 plus 15, which is 64. 8 is supposed to equal, what is the square root of 64? The square root of 64 is 8. So we know that x equals 7 does check out. It is an answer. Let's check this side. The x's are going to be replaced with negative 2's. So negative 2 plus 1 equals the square root of 7 times negative 2 plus 15. Negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1. This is the square root of 7 times negative 2 plus 15 is a 1. Negative 1 equals, what is the square root of 1? That is 1. Negative 1 does not equal 1, so this is an extraneous solution. So we only have one answer, and your answer is x equals 7. Let's go ahead and solve this problem. I cannot get into the third root radical until this multiplied 2 goes away. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I get the third root of 13x minus 5 equaling 5. Now I need to get in here. To get into the third root, I need to raise everyone to the third power. The third root and the third power cancel each other out, so I'm left with 13x minus 5 equaling 5 to the third power is 125. I'm going to go ahead and solve for x. So I have 13x equaling 130. Divide both sides by 13, I end up getting x to equal 10. Now my job is to check, are these, or is this, extraneous? 
So do I have an extraneous answer? So we need to check. 2 times the third root of 13x minus 5 is supposed to be 10. So do I get 10? 2 times the third root of, we have 13 times, you said x was 10. So 2 times the third root of 13 times 10 is 130, minus 5 is 125. 2 times the third root of 125, the third root of 125 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 does equal 10, so I do know that x equals 10 is an actual answer. There are two problems left on the page. Please do these two problems for independent practice.